Well, my job is to supervise uh, all the research laboratories at the Charge Academy for Astronomy Space and Technology. Uh, we have several research labs uh, and I am responsible for setting uh, their vision, their programs, uh, their output, what we do every day, every week, every month, every year. So this is uh, a very, very demanding job that does require uh, a bit of knowledge of uh, what we are doing because we have several different research labs, the CubeSat, uh, radio astronomy, high energy, meteorite, uh, space artificial. So you need to know uh, a little bit uh, about uh, uh, the setup of each lab. So this is what I will do in general. So I set up the programs for all the research labs and all the research assistants, yes. Yes, uh, what is special about SADAT, it does help students. Uh, you know about this uh, STEM education that uh, sometimes students, when they go into uh, any university program, they don't have the chance to touch the research. So what we do here at the Academy since more than four years, we invite students to do their internship here. So, uh, and we do accept students from every university in the UE, and even if we have from outside. So we invite them to apply for uh, any research labs and if they have uh, uh, the right background. Uh, we take from the College of Engineering, the College of Sciences, and uh, if we see that uh, they can follow our uh, research labs, the research, so we do implement them into this. So this is very, very beneficial for us and also for the student to get some kind of experience. And this is what they will write on the CV, that at least they have a chance for eight weeks, 10 weeks, 12 weeks to do some research with us. Yes, uh, the Charge Academy has several units. Uh, one of the main units beside the research labs is the uh, public outreach program. And as you know, we have the largest planetarium in the whole world. And we have also more than 80 space exhibitions. Uh, so the public outreach arm is very strong here because we invite the people, the general public, who has no knowledge at all about that. So maybe it may hear, hear about maybe uh, something related to stars, to galaxies, but uh, the public does not have uh, the background. So when anyone who comes here, so he will get a chance to touch. The universe. So we have a planetarium, we have different shows, uh, we have space exhibitions, uh, so they can run the experience, uh, the, these exhibitions uh, with their hands. Uh, we may receive kids, let's say kids uh, as young as six years old, so that we go around and see, they ask questions. Well, we have a big vision. Uh, usually we always uh, look, uh, look ourselves big, so we have to be number one in terms of space science research. Uh, in the MENA world, I believe uh, what we do here is unique uh, in terms of having, uh, as I said, space research labs, uh, having several observatories, uh, having the public arts program. So I would like uh, to be at the top of space science research. And I, and I believe that uh, in, uh, if you look uh, in what we are doing uh, or what we did the past uh, four or five years, I believe we did achieve a lot, especially your achievement is in terms of uh, what uh, you contribute to the scientific knowledge and through our publications, uh, through our participation in international conferences, we are doing a lot. And I believe people do appreciate, uh, our leadership does appreciate that. And that's why we're getting good funding uh, to promote ourselves further uh, in the future.